In this training video, we'll be going over standard scope forms. Okay, if you go up here to the standards tab, click on that, it'll bring up all your standard forms that you have that you, if you want to customize them um, or change them. You can uh, change your project scope form here by clicking on the project scope button. Okay, this is the scope form that we give you as a default. You can change your side menu name uh, if you want. You can call it pricing scope if you want. So if you want to call the pricing scope, you can change the name of that. You can change the title of it here if you want. So you can call it, you can call it whatever you want. Keep it as a project scope. Now, if you don't like the, the the list of items that we give you, I tried to come up with a fairly decent size uh, list that, that has a lot of uh, the stuff that I've seen on a lot of mitigation scope forms. Um, you can use this one. You can edit it. You can clear it and start from scratch. Just clear it and confirm it. That way it, it goes all the way to a blank. Um, you can revert back by clicking on that button. So say if you revert back, it will give you back to what we gave you as a default. You can delete items by just clicking, like if you want to uh, delete this containment cover with plastic, you can just click on the X and get rid of that, that item. If you want to add like a, one below this uh, blank line below this, you can click on this insert a row below. It'll give you a blank here. You can type in the name of it. Test item. Call test item. Uh, you can select what uh, unit of measure it is. Say it's a uh, an hour. Um, if you want to put in a price, you can do that. Uh, $2.99. This is your regular hours price, and this would be your after hours price. So you can you can have it. Uh, you can put in all your regular hours and after hour prices. Um, if you want to click, it has as, as this item's default uh, to automatically put in tax. You can do that. If, Want to automatically default and put in the OMP? You can do that, and those were the, the percentages that you put in, in inside your settings tab under your company company settings. Um, so you can you can add a header. You can add a header right here if you want to add a new new um, section. Like this is all content manipulation stuff all your boxes, bubble wraps, water extraction. Um, like I said, a lot of this is uh, used throughout the industry. But it's kind of long. If you want to shorten it up, you can do that. Um, I have a shorter one that I use that somebody else um, wanted me to add. So I can show you that one. Um, but we give you the, the option of of uh, adding as many types of uh, mitigation or project scopes that, that, that you want. We give you a mitigation one that shows you up here at the top. Uh, one of them that I made was a short mitigation. If you go in there, this is one that I created. You won't have it, but I, I created it myself. It's a little bit shorter. I got all the uh, regular hours and after hours in here for it, the unit of measures, uh, microbial, baseboard, carpet, carpet pad, tackless strip, drywall. You know, I made it a little bit shorter. At the, this, what this will do is inside the project, it'll, it'll give you one of these forms for each affected area. So if you have three affected areas, say a bedroom, a bath, in the hallway, it's going to give you the affected. It's going to give you a scope form for each area. And then at the bottom of each area, you can have a miscellaneous section 
where it's going to have like stuff that pertains to the whole job. Uh, dumpster fees, uh, Tyvek suits, goggles, boots. You can add you can add as many as you'd like. If you want to add more, just click on this. Add as many as you like. <clears throat> if you want to delete them, you can delete them. If you don't want Tyvek suit, you can delete Tyvek suit. But this gives you the option to either have or not have prices. If you just want it to be a scope form where you just select an items that you're using for each each job, you can do that. You can leave the, your prices blank and it won't show you prices inside the scope form. If you want to add a new type, like you can add a, a mold job type of scope form. You can do that. You can create a, a scope form for each type of job that you want. It will automatically bring up a blank, blank log here. Put in a header. Put in your different um, sections, and then you can add your items, add your prices, unit of measures. Uh, select if you want tax for that item, default automatically. Now, if you select these as defaults, these tax and OMP for this line item. While inside the project, you can you can uncheck them also if you, if you want to decide that you don't want to add tax or OMP. So you can do that at any time inside the project also. You don't have to come back to the standard and uh, uncheck those. Um, but you can have fire scopes. You can have carpet cleaning scopes. You can have, like I said, mold mitigation uh, roofing scopes. Uh, you can create a roofing scope if you like. Put all your prices in there. And it'll build an, it'll, it'll build an, uh, it'll build an estimate automatically for you inside the project, which I'll show you in a different uh, video. But this is where you would change any of your customized scopes that you want to use for a project. So we let you add as many or as few, as few items as you want. If you want to delete this whole containment section, you can, you can delete this whole containment section. X and you can delete all them sections and we'll start off here with this. This is containment. Which we can revert back. You can revert back as well as much as you like. But we wanted to come up with a scope form that had pricing in it and so this way, if you wanted to give an estimate to your uh, homeowner, the owner of the, the building or whatever you're doing a job for, you can give them a, a quick uh, estimate. Um, and you can do that by adding your, your regular hours and after hour prices um, inside your line items on your standard scope forms. But once you once you set up the standard scope form, just like all your other forms, contract forms, you probably won't ever touch them unless you want to add add, add different line items, more line items, or uh, get rid of some of the line items. That was it for this training video. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, feel free to contact us. The contact us button in the upper right hand dashboard.